In this question, we're told that a cone has a volume of 98 cm cubed, and we're told that the radius of the cone is 5.13 cm. We're also given the formula for the volume of a cone, which is a third pi r squared h. And now we need to find an estimate for the height of the cone. And we can only find an estimate because we don't have a calculator for this question, and so we'll need to round. So let's look at the formula again. We're told that v equals a third pi r squared h, where v is the volume, pi is pi, r is the radius of the base, and h is the height of the cone. And we can see that in the diagram over here. And so let's work at finding out an estimate for the heights. We can say that 98 is equal to v, because we're given that in the question, and this is equal to a third multiplied by pi multiplied by 5.13 squared, all multiplied by the height. And so let's simplify this further. A third multiplied by pi multiplied by 5.13 squared is the same as saying pi multiplied by 5.13 squared over 3. And then it's all of that multiplied by height gives the volume. And so now, to get height on its own, we need to divide both sides by pi 5.13 squared over 3. So we can do that over here. We'll say 98 divided by pi 5.13 squared over 3 is equal to the height. And so when we divide by a fraction, we can do this by mult by flipping the fraction that's being divided and changing the division sign to a multiplication sign. So we can show this over here. We'll say 98 multiplied, and then when we flip the fraction, we'll get 3 over pi 5.13 squared equals height. And then let's simplify this. We'll say 98 times 3 over pi 5.13 squared equals height. And now we need to estimate. Well, to estimate, let's round what we have to one significant figure. 98 to one significant figure is the same as saying 100. And then 5.13 to one significant figure is the same as 5. So we're left with 5 squared. Let's bring our working over here. So let's simplify this. We can say height is equal to 300, because 3 times 100 is equal to 300, over 25 pi. And we can say 25 because 5 squared is equal to 25. And so 300 divided by 25, if we divide both sides by 25, we're left that h is equal to 12 over pi. And now we need to estimate just a little bit further. Well, pi we know is roughly 3.14. So we can say that 12 divided by 3.14. Now when we round 3.14 to one significant figure, we're left with 3. So we will say that's similar to 12 divided by 3. And so based on our rounding and our estimation, we can now say that the estimation for a height of the cone is equal to 12 divided by 3, which is 4 centimetres. Part A is worth 3 marks, so let's take a look at where these 3 marks are allocated. The first mark is for substituting the values that we were given into the formula for the volume of the cone and for beginning to rearrange this to find the height, which we've done over here, when we said 98 divided by pi 5.13 squared over 3 is equal to height. Now the second mark, if we're rounding to one significant figure, in order for us to be able to estimate the value for the height, which we've done over here, we've said 98 rounds to 100, and 5.13 rounds to 5. And that final mark is for getting an answer between 3.5 and 4.5, because some people might round in a different way, but as long as we get an answer within that range, we'll get the mark. So since the range is 3.5 to 4.5, our answer of 4 will get us that final mark. In part B, we're told that John uses a calculator to work out the height of the cone to two decimal places. We're asked to find out whether our estimate will be more than John's answer or less than John's answer, and we need to give a reason why this is. Well, looking at our calculation for height, 
we said that the actual value of height is equal to 98 times 3 divided by pi multiplied by 5.13 squared. So now let's look at how we rounded. The numerator we rounded to one significant figure, which rounds up to 100. And 5.13 to one significant figure becomes 5, which rounds down. So now we can say that our estimate for the height of the cone will be more than John's answer. And this is because the number in the numerator goes up and the number in the denominator rounds down. And so we end up with an estimation that's larger than the actual value of height which John calculated.